We're going to keep the show going. Y'all show some love for Kansas City's own. He has his own show called Stand Up on the Spot, where they literally give you stuff, and he does stand up on the spot. It's very hard, very good, very interesting. Y'all show some love for Jeremiah Watkins! <laughs> How many of you heard the name Jeremiah Watkins and thought I was going to be a black dude? <laughs> and I look out and saw some disappointed faces <laughs> in the crowd. I go, oh, this is going to be different, okay. <laughs> you know that head nod that black dudes give each other at parties, like when they see each other? Like, you know, what's up? Like, we out here? <laughs> Uh, I get that, but from dudes with big noses. And I don't like it. I'm like, chill, I'm trying to meet people head on tonight. <laughs> Quick poll for the fellas. Quick poll for the fellas. When was the last time you bought a towel? Men don't buy towels. We inherit towels. Before we're kicked out of the nest by our family, our parents give us two towels for life. A bath towel and a beach towel. Like, what's that long one for? They're like, trust us, you'll need this someday. And there's only so many times we can cover you ladies up with a crunchy towel. Before you get offended, like, ow, did that just scratch me? This is disgusting. How come when I put your towel over there, it just stays? <laughs> Looks like a sculpture. Is that an oil stain on your towel? What are you using these towels for? Everything. <sighs> I have two towels. <sighs> oh, you ladies have it figured out, right? You got all kinds of towels in your bathroom. You got your body towels, your hair towels, your hand towels, your washcloths. Sometimes you have so many towels, you have towels that are just made for decoration. <laughs> and we as men get in trouble if we use your decorative towels. Guys have one towel in their bathroom, and you ladies can't even find it until you close the bathroom door and it's staring back at you on one of those weird hooks. And it's always slightly damp to the touch. Like it's just been used, but also hasn't been used in years. It's never completely bone dry. So you ladies have to make a decision after you wash your hands in a man's bathroom. If that transaction is gonna make your hands cleaner or dirtier. That's when you air dry those babies and walk out of there. Like you could ask any guy in here how much a towel costs and we'd be like, I don't know, like uh, $700, I don't know. Never bought a towel before. You guys hear that uh, Blink-182 is getting back together? Yeah. I'm real on the fence about doing this joke right now. That was some hesitant ass claps. Just like, of course the white guy's gonna talk about Blink-182. Uh, what happened to Fetty Wap? <laughs> See a Fetty Wap around a white person, they're like, what is a Fetty Wap? <laughs> you get the Fetty Wap at Trader Joe's? I think I ordered a spinach Fetty Wap the other day. <laughs> I love Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap is a popular rapper, if you didn't know. He's blind in one eye, but he sounds like he's deaf. In both ears. And like he's doing sign language while he's rapping. I'm like, nee, nee, man, want no way near me, man. I want my gun, red, red, wine, and me, that I want more time, and I got to know that. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wop? <laughs> Can you say, baby, won't you come my way for me? Oh. Baby, won't you come my way? <laughs> All right, we'll work on that next week in speech therapy. <laughs> baby! <laughs> you guys seem like a cool crowd. <laughs> feel like I can share some intimate secrets with you guys. I have a handicap during sex. I can't 69. Because my nose is too big. 
ends up in the butthole every single time. <laughs> Am I doing this right? <laughs> Super musty back here. Reminds me of Grandpa's attic. Black people after after I do jokes, you'll just hear like a man. He's wild. <laughs> that white boy went off on us. I don't know what. <laughs> I just became a dad. Yeah. And they don't tell you that when you bring your child home from the hospital that there's a new king of the household. <laughs> when my wife and I brought this baby into our lives, we instantly became peasants. What can I get you, Lord? Anything. Anything at all. Uh, may I wipe your butt? Oh, please let me do it. It'd be my deepest honor. Uh, oh, are you tired, sire? Take my sleep. I want you to have it. Please take all my energy, every ounce and fiber of my being, everything I used to be, and I'm now, it's yours, it's all yours. Are you hungry, my lord? Here, take my wife's teeth. You deserve them more than I. Please take my wife's teeth. I have no more use for them. If I may assist, I will dip it in your mouth like an au jus. Do you like French dips, my lord? Otherwise, I can stand in the corner and awkwardly do nothing as I stare. The doctor said that for a newborn, we need to keep the temperature in his room between 68 degrees and 72 degrees. Otherwise, he might die. What kind of stuck up royal king behavior is that? If you do not meet my demands, I might suddenly pass away. <laughs> Would you like that on your conscience until the end of time? Here, take this heating bill and leave me. <laughs> so it's cold in every room in our place, except the king's room. Sometimes I'll crack the door open and slip my nose in just to remember what warm air feels like. It's like heaven on earth in there. A white noise machine is gently cooing him to sleep. The best of Enya is always on loop. <laughs> Meanwhile, in my room, it's cold. It's aggressive. Public Enemy's playing for some reason. It's like a war scene in there. There's spit up everywhere. We bring our son in for just a second. He starts crying immediately. Oh, why is it so cold in here? Is this how the commoners live? Take me back to my heated chambers immediately. Oh, oh, yes, my lord, yes, my lord. My wife is sweet, she's trying to teach him sign language so he can be polite and let us know when he wants more. More. But he can tell. I'm a beta and he's an alpha. When he wants more, he just clenches his fist and he bashes it on the table and says, no, this means more. Now go get me more milk now, keep preferably, wench. I was bathing the king the other night. He was really enjoying himself. He's still so chubby, even when he's reclined, he's got fat rolls. I have to lift him up, get all the gross stuff out of the folds. At what age, like, you know, he's so cute, he's got the, like the fat, chubby rolls, you just want to you know, bite him. Like, at what age does that start becoming inappropriate to do? Like, like, like you can't walk up to like a 40-year-old man and be like, yeah, look at that. I got a lot of time. So he's loving it, he's reclined, and I start to drain the water out of the tub. And he shoots me this look like, I'm not done yet, peasant. <laughs> as soon as the water subsides below his hip level, he arcs a perfect pee over the sink, directly on my crotch, and he looks at me like, you're not going anywhere, peasant. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. 
I took it, and my wife is just loving this. And so is the glutton king. He's laughing so hard now, his fat rolls are bouncing up and down. He's like, ah, this is what the real man looks like, father. Ah. That's the king I serve. He started calling me Dada recently. Pretty cool. I'm glad he went with Dada over Daddy. Because Daddy has been ruined for me by the adult entertainment industry. Anytime I hear Daddy, I just picture a hot girl is going, oh, Daddy. Like, I'm gonna see my son crawling. He's pick me up, daddy. <laughs> Feed me, daddy, right here. <sighs> like, son, we don't talk like that in our household. <laughs> but I made a mess, daddy. <sighs> May I offer you one of my towels? <laughs> Guys, I'm Jeremiah Watkins. Thank you so much. <laughs>